All right, so yeah, what we're seeing now from R. Kelly and his camp is damage control. The Savages just did an interview on Megyn Kelly and also Kitty Jones and I believe the other woman name is Asante. So the fact that he still has Joycelyn, they're using her to do damage control. Now we're seeing them two out together, you know, alone. And, you know, her out and about. She's down with it. She's down with the R. Kelly cause. Okay. She's down with it. You know, she a grown woman, you know, and, you know, her parents been fighting for her, but. Honestly, the reality is Joycelyn is down with it. And that's their business, yeah. But the thing is, you know, he's still mocking. You know, and it's still wrong in the most highest eyes because, you know, the things that he have those women doing is making the most high angry, which is why he's being judged in the first place. You know, um... People have their opinion on what's going on, but ultimately the reason why he's going through, you know, everything, people coming out, you know, celebrities backing up the Mute R. Kelly movement and things, uh, that's because the Most High is exposing everything because he's tired of what he's seeing being done in the dark, no matter what we agree with it or not, the Most High is angry at what he's been doing. Because, you know, he can fool us, but he can't fool the Most High. And the Most High is going to judge people when they're claiming to love him and, and worshiping him, but then doing evil and wickedness. So, um, but the thing is, is where's Azrael Clary? Where is she? Okay. Now this, she was, according to her friend and family, she was 17 when she went off with R. Kelly. Now she was active on YouTube. You know, she was active in the world, you know, trying to get into the industry, um, singing, performing, you know, taking pictures with different celebrities and things. So she was real active. And according to her friend and family, uh, she was 17 when she linked up with R. Kelly. Now, she should be 19 right now. Now, Azrael's father, Angelo Clary, have posted, uh, he did an interview with TMZ and, you know, was basically crying out for his daughter. And Joycelyn, she's gone. She's gone right now. She's down for the cause, the R. Kelly cause. You know, and the fact that she is 22, the public is going to view the situation as folly because of her, you know. But she's being used for damage control. What we need to see is Azrael Clary, okay? She's the one that's 19 now. So let's let's find out what's happening with Azrael Clary. If he is you know, keeping their, keeping tabs on their calls and things and not letting them communicate with their families. And it's a reason why. And yeah, there needs to be an investigation. It's a lot of stuff that came out in that BBC documentary. According to the people that were around R. Kelly. And when you look at you know, him marrying Aaliyah when she was 15. And Jeronda Pace. Can't forget about her. She was 16. She lied about her age. Yeah, she was out there supporting him at the trial. But you, but fact of the matter is, she told him her age. She took a lot of detective tests. She was proven to be truthful. And he paid her off. 
and the girl was only 16 years old in a relationship with R. Kelly. Can't get around it. It doesn't matter what everybody, you know, trying to say about it. It's just, it's just not right. So, yeah, the movement continues. Mute R. Kelly and do an investigation on what's going on with these young women. Because this this is going to be exposed. He can try to do damage control, but what he needs to do is send them girls home. And the fact that he haven't yet is something there. The Most High knows what, and he's going to expose it.